action. Yeah, I just got the notification last night about uh, getting into Unbreakable, and then I had to make a video. Now it's Saturday, don't have much time, so I'm just going to make it a, try to make it a one-shot deal here. And what I decided to do is to take you on an, on an exercise journey here. While, while we're getting to the site, what I wanted to talk about was, they're even shooting at us over here. <laughs> Get, what I wanted to talk about was how back, talk about, talk about your accomplishments and stuff like that. Well, I'll tell you what. Back when I was at basic training in AIT with the Army Reserves, what I did was, I was in 11 Charlie, was a mortar man. I finished number one, not only in the practical part, but number one also in the written part. Then moving on to college in ROTC. I had a full ride ROTC scholarship my first time in college. And then after a few years, I decided I wanted to go back. And not only did I get two scholarships to go to Rutgers Professional Turf Management School, but I also finished first in my class. So I have the brains to be able to do this and I have the abilities to be able to do it. What, what else have I done? Just a few years ago, well, about five years ago, I used to smoke, I used to chew, doing them all. And then just a little bit over a year ago, I took up running. In the beginning of last year, I did some 5Ks, move on to the 10Ks, the 15Ks, the half marathon, but in there I was doing the uh, Tough Mudders as well. And finishing the top 5% of all three Tough Mudders, and then I went on to, uh, to compete at World's Toughest Mudder. Well, World's Toughest Mudder, this is in my first year of running. The world's toughest mutter. I, I ended up coming in 42nd. In the beginning, I was having uh, a whole lot of issues. Well, I imagine you've heard how cold it was there. I was having a whole lot of issues with the cold. And after finishing two laps, I ended up having pretty much hypothermia. So I had to go sit in my tent for about seven hours and try to warm up. Now, after about seven hours, even though I wasn't going to have any more chance of winning, I decided that what I was going to do was go back out. Then for the rest of the night and the next morning, I completed a couple more laps, and as I said, I finished number 42 overall without a complete wetsuit. As I said in the beginning, I was going to take you on an exercise journey. You know, there's these guys out there that are running marathons in two hours and 15 minutes. I'm never going to do that. I mean, I'd be lucky to make it in 3.30. Yeah, I've never even run a marathon yet. And so there's guys out there that are running these tough mutters in insane times. And you look at uh, uh, Hobie Call, and he's doing these Spartan races in insane times. It's like, there's no way I can ever compete with any of these guys. And it, even though I ended up first in my class and stuff like that, I mean, as far as brains go, there's people out there that are a whole lot smarter than me. So particularly before World Stuff is Mutter, I was evaluating how, if I had a chance of winning, what I would have to do. And I know I can't compete with some of these guys physically. I mean, I'm never going to bench press 300 pounds. I know I can't run as fast as them. I'm never going to do a marathon in 215. So what do I have? I have toughness. So what I started doing hardcore was just practice the toughest things that I could think of. I'm inspired by some tough mutter obstacles and stuff like that. We're reaching the place that I'm going to show you my new exercises. How to learn to be tough. And what it basically consists of is getting into the water, freezing cold water. This is the end of January in Pennsylvania. And then we have a cord plugged in. We're going to throw the cord in and we're going to get electrocuted. And this is the buff. the exercise the uh, little journey that we had today in exercise and uh, talking about myself 
And uh, I'd like to say the one thing that's really going to be tough is almost all of us can do pull-ups, pull -ups, almost all of us can do push-ups. We all go running almost every day. And the physical body is one thing, but what's going to really take this and win this is mental toughness. Because you can always break the physical body, but you can't break the spirit. And that's what's really going to be unbreakable. I'm done.